Okay, going to start this again. This uh, Jex Juxto knife. Uh, I'm starting to really like this company. This is the, uh, actually I've gotten three knives now. First one uh, about a month ago. Uh, they come in this box, nicely packed. I don't know what the little confetti paperwork is, but that's fine. But, you know, you can contact them. I haven't had to contact them. I don't know what the little wipe off your blade, extra grease. In this particular uh, one, actually getting the uh, fire so you can start one. I opened up the other one and uh, not going to start a fire, but you should be able to see that. I mean, it'll, it'll it'll put out a spark if I hit it right. There you go. So, pretty nice. That's one of the better ones I'll probably be carrying around. It's got a little tiny saw teeth on this side. So that's pretty cool. Again, what a great little blade. My goodness gracious. Oh, uh, it's got a cord so you can tie it to the handle. But uh, this is a this this particular knife weighs almost 15 ounces, 14.8 ounces, which is pretty heavy duty. Nice, well made. Really like the thing. Of course, this is all. <laughs> this thing. Every, every time I do this, I get I, I forget. It's the easy flip back, easy push in, lift up. These screws actually come out. You can turn this. Actually, here's the other one that I had gotten before, and I've turned it so that it's like that. So it can sit on your belt this way. You can pull the blade that way. Okay? All the blades kind of the same. I wasn't thrilled with their handle on this first one, but, I mean, what a nice blade. This one, heavy duty. They say, now, I mean, you can see this is... This back bevel is just awesome. I mean, really awesome. Totally. Love this. So when you're wearing gloves, you got something to hold on to. It has long grip, big, heavy, thick blade, sharp. You know, I guess I can cut some paper. To, I mean, you can see how, how that just peeled through that beautiful blade. And they say it's 4, 420, but they also say 420HC, which is a high carbon content, okay? 420 used to get up about uh, 55 Rockwell hardness. Uh, if you do this right with high carbon content, it says, uh, you know, normally you'll get up to around 56, maybe 57. Their specs say 58. Now, <laughs> I don't have the tools to test it, but I'm taking them at their word. A 58 Rockwell hardness on this type of blade is like having a really, really nice machete, okay? I mean, that's literally what you got here, a mini machete. <laughs> You're going to be able to chop through just about anything with this bad boy, Okay. I mean, 59 is when you start getting into to high precision blades, and they say this is a 58. So for the price, oh my goodness gracious, you can't beat that. For people with bigger hands, you can't beat that. This, especially with gloves, nice grip. I mean, there is no way you're going to lose this bad boy at all. And again, if you like your, if you like to 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 keep your blade on your belt so that you can pull it right-handed so mount it on the left side I showed you and take those little screws out remount them and it can be that that way do it the other way you can put it on the other side I'm sure uh, as a right-hander I won't of course but I can't say enough about this knife I've used the other one a couple times it's staying sharp but this is what I love you start wearing this, you start, this may be a go-to knife for me a lot, even though, but you start wearing this down, you're going to sharpen it a lot. That's a pretty nice bevel on here. 
and I didn't measure it because I couldn't get get my angle on there just to see exactly what it is. But I'm I'm guessing that it's probably uh 25, 30, and then his back bevel 40, you know, like lawnmower blade. I mean, what a great! I can't say enough. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I, I got to see what they work like in the field, but for the price, for what you're getting, and nice and tight, great knife. I can't, I just I, all I can tell you is to go for it, okay? I'm going to show the other one, too, while I'm on there, because I want people to go to this company, and I want them to uh, purchase. I'm going to mount, put this video on both. And this is a, a little bit smaller one. This is 11.4 ounces. Still 420 uh, high carbon content. Uh, of course, same back, open the same way, can turn the same way. Again, I just I enjoy the fact that they give you a little bit bigger handle than so many others that I've purchased and done reviews on. I mean, this is just a sharp. Nice, nice and oiled. I, I I messed with the other one a good bit, so I haven't really messed with this one. But you can see that they they leave it a little. I mean, the tang on uh, all of them, they keep that so that uh, you know it doesn't have that super angled 90 degree on the tang. I mean, it's one piece of metal, solid all the way through all their blades. It's just an awesome blade. I think I think this 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 may be a company that I'm just going to have to keep on uh, dealing with, because for the price, you know, this it's just like you can't beat it, and not for the hardness. Again, this is another one that that's set at 58. I mean, wow, great blades, great knives. Whoever's making this. They're doing a really, really good job, and this even has a, even a deeper bevel, you know, which I personally, because I sharpen all my own knives, I personally like. I hate these little thin, tiny, thin bevels on blades, and then it takes forever. I'll have to cut a back bevel on it so that it, when I'm out in the field, I don't have to spend half my life sharpening it every time I use the dag on things. So. I really like this bevel that they got on this, so thick, but so wide, and uh, I'm, I'm assuming everybody can see that, you know, from there to there, but again, super, super nice knife, super comfortable, can't do anything, but, uh, you know, this is not just five star, these, these are six star, because I will buy these and give them to friends, honestly. That's how nice I think they are. So, anyway. This also comes with the, the little fire starter, too, which is what I used in the other one. And you can see how tight that thing is. That thing is not falling out, you know, accidentally. You do have to, you know, if it when it's on your belt, you give, give it a little tug and it comes right out. But this came with everything the other one came with. And, you know, tied a cord. Put the loop in there so you can put it on around your wrist when you're holding it so you don't, even if it comes out of your hand, you still can get to it real quick. Super nice knife. Super nice company. I like what they're doing. Hope they keep doing it. And I recommend to everybody, definitely purchase it.